Assalamu alaikum children and welcome to another episode of Qasasul Atfal. My name is Samira and I'll be keeping you company for the next hour. This is our special time where we get to learn the fun way. We read stories and we watch cartoons and we learn about everything around us. Come a little closer, hold my hand. Let's go to that special place where we have so much fun. Let's learn about Islam and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let's dream about Jannah and find ways to make Allah happy. Today, children, let's start the show off with... A cartoon! That's right. We'll be right back. Today, children, we're going to learn how to make a lantern. Zini, have you ever made a paper lantern? No, Samira. What is a lantern? Well, a lantern is like a light. We won't be putting any light into it, but we will make it to look bright and beautiful and decorate the place. Mm. Will you keep it in your room if I make it for you? I will, will, will. Inshallah. Now for a lantern, this is what you'll need. You'll need some colored paper or colored cardboard. Today we'll be using white, but you can use any color that you like. We need a pair of scissors. And remember, ask an adult's permission or ask mommy and daddy to help you cut. You'll need some crayons, some felt pens or some markers. You'll need some print or some glue. And you'll need some stickers, but if you don't want, you can decorate them with drawing too. This is what you need to do to make your paper lanterns. The first thing we're going to do is cut out a piece of paper into a tiny little rectangle. Do you know how many sides a rectangle has, Zini? Um, four sides. That's right. One, two... two Three, Three and four. four. This is a rectangle. It has four sides. Count Ooh. with me again. One, two, two three, four. four. MashaAllah. The next thing we're going to do is see which side of the lantern we want to use. Now remember children, if you want, you can download a cutout picture or you can just do it yourself. Today, inshallah, we'll be doing it ourselves. I'm going to simply cut out a tiny little box from our piece. It goes like this. Up and down the center to make our rectangle stay the same size. If you don't want to cut out your rectangle, you can make it as big or as small as you want. Mm -hmm. I'll be cutting out the sides just like that. Can you see children? I've made my rectangle a little bit smaller so that it will fit into our little friend's room. Yay. Do you have a big room or a small room? Why not see what size you want to make your lantern that's especially for you? Is this the right size for you Zini? Um, I think so it is. Inshallah. What's the next thing we need to do? The next thing we're going to do is fold our page in half, just like this. We fold it down the center. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see, I've already drawn lines going down. They're tiny little rectangles. Do you know why I drew these rectangles on? Um, nope. Well, I drew these rectangles as little spaces so that we know where we're going to fold and where we're going to cut. Ah. Draw the rectangles in the same space apart and in the same way. Can you see children? They look exactly the same. Well, mm -hmm. now you have your rectangles the same way we cut out the rectangle from the top. 
we fold our page in half. Now you see only half the rectangle. Can you see that? Uh-huh. MashaAllah. The next thing we're going to do is cut along the sides. We cut in the center. We cut by the next strip. Mm -hmm. We don't cut all the way through, just to the tip. We cut down the center. We cut to the strip. We remember not to cut all the way to the tip. Can you see the little folds we've made? Wow! The next thing we're going to do is open it up again. Look, we have our page with these tiny little holes. Ooh. Can you see me? Can you see me? I found you. There's it. The next thing we're going to do is fold our lantern over and stick it flat. Let's do that now. We simply glue the one end like this and stick it to the other end. We fold it over, over and we press it flat just like that. Look children, we have what's almost a lantern. Ooh. Now children, let's go for a quick break and when we come back we'll finish up our little lantern. Stay tuned. Don't go away. Welcome back children. Look, our lantern is already stuck and ready to use. Mm. What's the next thing we need to do? Um, decorate it. That's right. We're going to decorate it. Now I'm going to decorate it by colouring each and every panel a different colour. We can start off with any colour you like. What colour would you like to start with, Zinni? Um, red. A red one like you. Yep. Alhamdulillah. We simply take our red crayon, and our color, marker, color, color. and color, color, color. That's right. Choose another color. Um, purple. All right. Then we take our purple and we color, color, color. Just like that. Samira, yes, the next my color you can choose. All right. I'm going to choose an orange. Ooh. And what do we do? Color, color, color. That's right, mashallah. We color, color, color. You know, I love coloring. And what do we say when we're coloring so that Allah will be happy with us too? Um, Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar. That's right. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. My last one, I'm going to color in yellow so it's bright like the, the sun. sun. That's right, mashallah. There we go. Now when we lift our little lantern up, we simply fold out the little folds that we made earlier and press mm -hmm. them flat. flat. Just like that. There we go. MashaAllah. Look children, our lantern is done. Isn't it so pretty? It's so pretty just for my room. MashaAllah. And you can keep that one over by you. Okay. But uh, we've Aww. come to the end of another show. Don't worry, we'll be back again soon. Don't forget to email us on samira at itvnetworks.tv. Until next time, fi amanillah, assalamu alaikum and bye. Bye.